I'm Sarah Stacy, and I'm from Fountain, uh, Colorado. I am here on video today to just tell you the story um, of how my family will be impacted by Medicaid cuts. I have other insurance, my, other, my husband has other insurance, and we are good to go. However, my brother has multiple sclerosis, um, and he's a young man. He's 50, well-educated, was a college professor, reading and writing German, but the multiple sclerosis has really impacted his cognitive ability. We found him about eight years ago, homeless and wandering the streets in Las Vegas, and we moved him here. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't have the ability to remember to care for himself, and so he was found eligible for uh, CDAS, Consumer Directed Assists and Supportive Services, uh, under his Medicaid, and his life has dramatically improved. He has independence, he can live in his apartment, uh, on his own with those supports and his dignity has been restored. He's back able to being able to do research and read and write as he could at one time before. Ending these supports or even worse capping them would be devastating for my brother um, because it would mean that he would only be eligible part of a year each year for the services that keep him independent in his home. Without these services, he'll need to go needlessly into nursing care. That's the reason I'm opposed to cuts in funding and for Medicaid, and in general opposed to the uh, Republican uh, version of the AHCA um, that's gonna be voted on next week. I urge you not to support that. Thanks.